All right, guys, even here, and there is this guy, and I've been thinking about making a video about him, but I wasn't sure if there is any interest about him, but now I've seen a couple of YouTubers made a video about him, so let me do it as well. I've been following him for some time, and my take on him is, is yeah, he's an absolute freak. He's a genetic beast. This guy is uh, my age, pretty much. I'm 23 right now. I'm going to turn 24 later this year, so he's 24, and for this age... He is humongous. He is crazy, crazy big. Look at those arms. I mean, the arms are the most impressive part of his body, if you ask me. Everything else, everything else is huge. His back as well, his legs, everything. But the arms in the front double bicep are just looking mind-blowing. And he's not a pro yet. He did not turn pro, but I'm sure he will do that in a few years. He will probably be one of the top pros if he survives, if he survives. So I wanted to say, he's trained by Matt Jensen. Matt Jensen is known for training with high intensity type of training, like Dorian Yates did and so on, that kind of stuff. So very, very low volume with high intensity. So you know that Nick is very strong as well, if he's trained by Matt Jensen. And that's one of the reasons why he's so big, because he lifts some very, very heavy weights. But you know who else was trained by Matt Jensen? Dallas McCarver. Dallas was also super big. He was bigger than this guy. And he died at the age of 26, so two years older than Nick. He's a white guy. He's not a black dude with supreme crazy genetics. I mean, Nick and also Dallas. And in order for them to get that big, they have to be on a considerate amount of anabolics and who knows what kind of performance enhancing drugs. We, we, got, we gotta be sure that these guys are on some heavy, heavy stuff. This is not just, yeah, I don't know, 500 milligrams of test and some deca and some trend. This is a lot more. This is a lot more juice. You don't get this big by, by using low dosages. They, these guys are blasting it. And you know, when Dallas died, he did not die from choking, as some people think. No, that's what Josh maybe thought in the beginning when he saw him all blue. But he actually died from heart failure and you can find a lot of reviews of his uh, autopsy and you can hear that his heart was like three times bigger than it should be all of his organs were so much bigger you can look it up i forgot the details but it was insane i mean like his liver was four times bigger his kidneys were humongous his lungs his every single organ in his, his, in his body was just off the charts, the doctors couldn't believe what they saw, they, they, they weren't sure this was even a human. So let me tell you, I mean, Dallas was on some really heavy stuff, and the blood work proved it. And in these autopsy reviews, you can actually hear how high his testosterone levels were, and based on that, you can conclude, I mean, the doctors conclude how much gear was he actually using to get that big. So now we don't know, is Nick a genetic freak, bigger freak than Dallas, maybe he's using less stuff. But maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. So if everything goes well, if everything goes well, I believe Nick will become a professional bodybuilder in IBB, of course, Pro League. He will become one of the top guys. Don't know doubt about that. But I think it's a big if. I mean, being this huge, only 24 years old, and being a white guy, something is suspicious about this. So could this be another case of Dallas McCarver? I mean, I wouldn't like to see that, that would be horrible news, it would be like a disaster, another very big disaster for the bodybuilding world, but it's possible, I mean, these guys are crushing gear, they're using humongous amounts when they want to get this big, and this is not just a little bit more than normal, this is abnormal, this is insane how big this guy is at 24 years of age. So he did not build this muscle by putting years and years and using moderate amount of stuff and simply being a genetic freak, he definitely was using some heavy stuff. I mean, I'm not sure 100%, but I would say so. So, if everything goes well for him, I believe he will be a next big thing. But if something goes wrong, which is not very unlikely, considering how big he is and only 24 years of age, this could be just another Dallas McCarver case. So whatever you guys think about this guy, Nick Miller, and his actually name, nickname on Instagram is The Mutant. And he definitely is a mutant being this, this muscular at such a young age. 
Whatever your take is, tell me in the comment section below. Do you think this is healthy that he's doing? <laughs> of course it's not, but do you think this is going to last? Do you think this is smart move? I mean, consistency and actually preservance are one of the most important things in this sport. You cannot become the great champion unless you preserve your body and unless you keep it from burning out at young age. If he actually somehow manages to stay healthy and to make progress over the years and everything if everything stays normal he will be the next big thing but if some things go wrong which is i would say very likely because i think he's pushing it too hard this is just not normal for a 24 year old to be this big but however maybe he's a genetic freak maybe he doesn't use that much stuff maybe he just grows with with moderate amounts who am i to tell i don't know i don't know his life but i'm just speculating here i just like to do that, that's what my channel is about, speculating about stuff. Whatever you guys think, tell me, give me your two cents. Tell me in the comment section below what is your take on this. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.